freezing temperatures, it doesn't get any better than this. It's warm and full of protein. That survival food is really pretty. When you are stranded on a mountain or in a desert or the coldest region on Earth, you need to survive to get out of there. You have to eat food that is not a meal, that stinks, that does not taste good, but you have to remember that it is going to keep you alive. Survival is necessary. To teach you how to combat these extreme situations, Discovery Channel broadcast a show on March 10, 2006 called Man vs. Wild, starring the legendary survival coach Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls, the iconic British adventurer, has been the most enthusiastic and the ultimate survival game player. And the best thing is, he knows how to rock the show. Despite risking his life, he never gave up on his adventures. There is not a living thing alive that Bear has not tried. These places best known for their harsh living conditions are scattered over 200 countries that Bear Grylls and the team of the show Man vs. Wild have visited. However, in this video, we are going to cover the most insane foods eaten by the star of the show. So buckle up folks, it is not going to be an appetizing ride. The World Food is a small channel growing with your help. We can't say how very appreciative we are to have you tune into our content. Big up and many thanks. Back to the show. Sheephead Fish Eyeballs the Pacific Islands are a scenic region with white beaches and kaleidoscopic reef systems, but rapid climate and weather changes can turn these stranded islands into the ultimate game of survival. Bear Grylls with his team of Man vs. Wild went to the Pacific Islands to play the game. As to outlive on the uninhabited island, he had to look for the nutrients and carbohydrates that could maintain his body's energy levels. Now, it does not matter where you get these nutrients and carbs from, the only thing that matters is survival. To maintain his energy level and fight the harsh conditions of the island, Bear Grylls caught a sheephead fish. It has human-like teeth and its face resembles that of a sheep. That is why it is called a sheephead fish. Bear did not try to eat any raw fish meat, but he fetched the eyeballs instead. He ate the first one. The eyeball on the outside was hard, but once you bite into it, all the fluid comes out. The fluids in the eyeball are extremely salty and bitter. As far as the Bear Grylls nutritional chart is concerned, these eyeballs contain unsaturated fatty acids that can help your body to stay active enough to combat dangerous circumstances. Urine On another of his life-risking adventures, Bear Grylls with his cameraman and crew went to the Sahara. To prevent the penetration of the fiery heat, you have to cover yourself with several layers of clothing. If not done, you might faint after the minute you get into its dazzling sun. When it comes to the desert, there is only one name that suits the context well. The land of thirst and death. The water Bear Grylls was given by his crew had finished. In the middle of the desert, he ran out of water. Well, we didn't see that one coming. He was extremely dehydrated and eventually started to stumble on his feet. And then the magical idea came to his head, drinking his urine. It is not the best option, but it is better to drink your urine than to die. It was one of those drink or die moments we all have. He grabbed a bottle, filled it with his pee, and drank it to relax his body. It was an extremely unpleasant experience, he said, after quenching his thirst. Moose's Blood and Heart The Arctic Circle is one of the coldest regions worldwide. Covering the coldest continent, Antarctica, this place is also known for its scenic beauty and deadly cold. From June 21st to 21st of December, there is no sunrise or sunset in this terrain. When Bear Grylls took to the helm of the Arctic Circle with his crew, he even saved his parachute for later use. When he ascended in the snow of the Arctic Circle, he was frozen, and he had to look for a meal immediately to make his body warm. He immediately set a trap and then waited. As the moose got trapped, Bear got his iconic knife, cut the moose's throat, and he drank the flowing blood. While drinking the raw blood, he was glad because it was warm, but this was not the end. 
Next, he tore the skin of the moose apart and grabbed the heart of the moose out of its chest cavity. It was a fresh carcass, so its body was still warmer than bear's hands. Its heart was huge. The massive heart with blood on it surprisingly looked scrumptious to the British daredevil who did not hesitate to eat the moose's heart out. Camel Dung In one of the hottest deserts in the world, things will get worse if you're not prepared. But really, who is prepared for life in the Sahara? It was higher than 55 degrees Celsius under the scorching sun of the Sahara, and walking on the sizzling sand dunes did not make it any better. This time, Bear had an old camel which by now was dead. Its carcass lay down in the sand. With nothing to drink, Bear Grylls did the unthinkable. He got camel's dung instead. Even though the dung in the camel's stomach had a pungent smell and it did not taste any good, Grills heaped a pile of camel dung in his hands and squeezed the dung, drinking the sap which may have contained thousands of harmful bacteria. His crew and team had opposed the idea and were in refusal of doing to follow. Raw Goat Testicles While being a guest of a Bedouin in the eastern desert, Bear Grills got to taste his manhood. According to the Bedouins, it is a ritual to eat raw goat testicles which helps to increase fertility and promote sperm germination. The Bedouin ate one and presented the other one to Bear as a privilege for being his guest. To keep that honor, Bear bit the testicles and they were so bad that he threw up. Later he said that it was bad, it was the testicles I have ever seen. The testicles were full of goat sperm, well what did you expect Bear, it would be full of honey? That was insane. Raw Snake In another desert of Africa, to survive means to eat what you see crawling around you, but be wise with not getting the poisonous crawlers. In these deserts, you can only get the cuisines like viper stew, camel chow mein, cactus curry, and the house favorite, centipede soup. On a day when Bear Grylls was running low on proteins in the boiling heat of the Sahara, he saw a viper crawling. Guess what? It was going to be his lunch. Undoubtedly, the fearless adventurer of Bear Grylls did what he does best. Catching the snake, he aimed for its head with a hard stone. He cut his head and buried it under the mud. He did so because vipers are active after 5 to 10 minutes of their death and can still bite you with their super sharp fangs. After burying the viper's head, he got what he needed, the protein. The snake's meat along with its skin contains a dense number of proteins that can help your body charge up to the mark. He ate raw snake with its skin on without any reluctance, and to his credit, he still had his entire jawbone intact afterwards. Do you think it was a good idea to do so? Was it good enough to eat a raw snake when you have wood and a handyman to make a fire? So, what do you think? Comment snake soup if you would try the food to survive and camel dung if you would rather die before it touches your mouth.